Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction, let us show you the way. A monolith is a large single standing block of stone or metal often used in ancient times by the people to mark the territory. We bring you a series of events that took place and what really happened. Point for December 2020. Let's help you make your mark. As more of these monoliths appeared across the globe in England, Romania and the Netherlands, Apolonov teamed up with Australian comedy group Auntie Donna to create their own metal monolith which they planted in Australia. The monolith was planted outside Melbourne, Australia. Take our lead! After the discovery of that first monolith, at least 87 similar structures have popped up around the world. Several monolith makers told Insider they built their structures to end 2020 on a high note. Visit Insider's homepage for more stories. Point two zero December 2020. Make your mark, take our lead. Billed as the world's largest exposed granite monolith, like Australia's Uluru, the colossal rock is technically a Monadnock or Inselberg. Stone Mountain is renowned for both its unique geology and the fact that the world's largest bas-relief sculpture can be found on its north face. Point three one May 2017. Let's help you make your mark. Within a month after the Utah monolith was discovered, at least 87 similar metallic towers have popped up around the world. Often eerily beautiful, the structures have been spotted in California, the Netherlands, Morocco, Canada, Australia, and dozens of other locations. Point two zero December 2020. Let's help you make your mark. Is that monolith as a large single block of stone, used in architecture and sculpture while obelisk as a tall, square, tapered, stone monolith topped with a pyramidal point, frequently used as a monument. Let's help you make your mark. A monolith is a geological feature consisting of a single massive stone or rock, such as some mountains, or a single large piece of rock placed as, or within, a monument or building. Erosion usually exposes the geological formations, which are often made of very hard and solid igneous or metamorphic rock. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.